So this fan in one of my bathrooms has been annoying since I bought the house. Here, let me turn it on. As you can tell, it makes a lot of noise. Uh, I know about a year or a year and a half ago, I think, I opened it up, took it out, tried to clean it out a little bit, and it was a little bit better. But I've learned a lot about motors and electrical in the last year or so, so I figured I'll take it apart again and see if maybe I can get it running much quieter. And here's a quick shot with the cover off. It just plugs in, which is kind of nice, so that I can uh, test it out like down in the workshop. So let me get that pulled out of there. Alright, so let's see what it sounds like out here. It's a little bit of noise, but not like it was up in the bathroom, so maybe I'm running into an issue of something else vibrating in there. Yeah, so I think it's definitely probably this rattling around, this whole box here basically rattles around in here. So I'm sure that's where my noise is coming from. Um, Sure, we have to get a flashlight and see. I don't know if there's any thing, any studs going off to the side. I can screw into. Looks like a couple layers of drywall here. Some other kind of almost seems like metal right there. It looks like I thought. Although the light is not very good up here. So I guess I'll get a flashlight and investigate. Well, I removed this little flap that was up up and behind in the corner up there. I'm not sure what it really did, but I figured it could only add to the noise. Let me turn it on. I'm not sure if it's any better. Maybe a little bit. It doesn't seem like any of this is really vibrating much though. I don't think this case, unless it's the top metal part that's behind the other, on the other side of the fan is making the noise. But, I don't know, I think it's about as good as it's going to get. I couldn't really see anywhere that this whole kind of box was mounted in there. So, it is what it is, I guess. So, here I am in the upstairs bathroom and this light and fan unit also has a little heater in it. The switch for the heater has not worked in a while. I don't know when it stopped, but uh, I'm not sure why it stopped. Maybe it's the switch itself. So I'll open this up and first step, I guess we'll see what's behind there and then see if we get any power from that switch coming through. Just a little bit dusty in there. I bet you nobody's been in there for 20 years. Alright, got everything out. So here's the light with the vents. There's the fan. And here's the little heating element, um, which doesn't power on. So I'm going to get this shit all cleaned up. And then here's the ceiling with everything out. That's where the exhaust, or the fan blows out the air, two plugs right there, and then the other red one is the heater, I don't know if you can see that, and some wiring in there, so I'll kind of clean that out as much as I can too. After cleaning up this uh, heater slash fan um, and opening up the bottom cover, I'm going to guess that this is the problem here. 
because I'm not getting any heat and the fan is not spinning up. So, if, see, the electricity isn't flowing from here to here, we're not getting the coils. And then also, it's not transferring to this red wire, which leads back into the, the transformer and the fan. So, I guess I'm going to take this apart and see if I can figure out what this little component is right here. Pretty old, whatever it is. So I took the part off and I posted it online to uh, um, chat room and someone said it's probably a fuse so that it protects in case the, the blower and the fan stops working and then it gets too hot and blows the fuse so you don't start a fire which makes sense so you can just put a wire in there temporarily to test it out and well, now it's spitting up didn't just a second ago but you can kind of see the smoke coming off here it is heating up though and I guess you can see the red coils So maybe I will just try and find another fuse now that it's spinning up. Maybe it wasn't spinning before because it was so dirty and dusty. Let me turn that off. Because um, that seems to be working now. The only thing is, I'm not sure I have to figure out what kind of fuse. Maybe I can look up a schematic for a similar type of heater and blower. Because running one without it is just not, obviously not safe. <laughs> so if this fuse is working, you would have connectivity, or continuity, connectivity, I guess, however you want to say it. Uh, in electrical terms, like on a multimeter, it's called the continuity, continuity test. If this fuse is working, you'd be able to touch, and you need continuity here, similar to like this wire. So current can pass through, but since this fuse is blown, there's no current passing through here. So I thought about it for about 10 minutes and quickly decided that instead of trying to find the correct fuse and risking potentially a fire if something was wrong with that fan motor, which is very likely since it's all rusted and really old, I figured I uh, would just go get a new unit. So this is a 3-in-1 unit with the heater, the fan, and the light. Picked it up from Home Depot for 85 bucks after tax. So I'm going to open this up real quick and can show the, uh, the fuse in this one if it's a similar setup. So if you look here you can basically see it's the same kind of construction as the old heater and blowing element just new down here is the um, fuse and if I touch on both sides I get the beep on my multimeter to show continuity so we've got one wire coming in here from the the plug if this fuse is good electricity can pass through here to this post which obviously leads to these coils on the other side of this post on the top is a wire that then leads into the, the motor of this blower which will then blow the heat out. So a pretty basic electrical system going on here. I was kind of hoping I could just pull the heating element out of here, the vent fan, and just put those up in the old uh, case up in the ceiling. but. There are some differences here and it's probably good to replace this stuff anyways because how mo with how rusted the motor was on the blower and the fan is all pretty rusted, I bet all the wiring is pretty rusted out up there too, so it'd be good to get this installed with new new wiring and new plugs and everything up there in the ceiling. So hopefully it's a smooth install. 
After going up and looking in the attic, I was thinking there's got to be an easier way. What if I just put some of the... Well, first I thought I would put the motors in the old brackets, which I did with the fan. Fits the same. Um, but for the heater and the blower, I didn't need to do the whole bracket. All I had to do was put this faceplate on and I should be able to screw this in. Oh, although I guess I'm going to have to screw some holes in on the other side for screwing through. But uh, then that should work. So hopefully I'll be able to just mount these up in the old uh, box in the ceiling. So a minor problem. This won't go in this way. It has to go in the opposite way due to the size of the, the prongs. So I had to cut the end off the fan and I'll just wire in the old plug onto there. And there it is. Use the new cover and the new light socket. So the motors are all new, the light socket's all new, the cover's all new. Good to go.